to Jesus. Just like God allowed me to talk to Adam, to Eve in the garden. It's only fair after all. You leave Jesus alone. Everything you say is a lie. You just leave no, him alone. No, Satan's right. God says we can't interfere right now. In mm -hmm. fact, we can't even appear to Jesus right now. What? No. no. He's, he's so weak and look at him. Oh, I am looking at him. All right. This should be even easier than Adam and Eve. They were freshly created, perfect and strong, walking and talking with God in the garden every day. And I still got them. But look at him. Michael comes down into my territory. And does he bring his heavenly powers? No, you fool! He joins the pathetic human race after they've endured 4,000 years of living on this planet. And guess what, sweetheart? I own this planet. So this will be easy. Jesus said God's word will give him the power to, to believe and to choose to obey, remember? Yeah, but I know God has kept him alive for 40 days without food. Why would he allow Satan to tempt him when he's so weak and hungry? That is a very good observation, my dear. Thank you. I think I will talk to Jesus about hunger. You see, humans always listen to me better when they feel hungry or tired. You could just ask Moses or Elijah. I hear they're up there somewhere. So I will just take this. What? And you two can go and sit, like good little morning stars. Alright, let's see how this works. Oh, it's been so long since I've used one. Oh, mercy. Alright. I look like a good angel again. I hate that. It's for a worthy cause, though. Alright, here we go. Jesus. Wakey, wakey, Jesus. Hey. Do you have a message from Dad? I sure do, Captain Michael. The message is this. If you are the Son of God, command these stones to turn into bread. Oh, and look, hey, you've got a stone right here. I can almost smell the fresh bread already. Oh. Okay, go ahead, here you go. Wait. Repeat that message again. What? Oh, sure, sure. If you are the Son of God, turn these stones into bread. If? Yeah. That is weird now that you mention it. I mean, 40 days ago, the voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, so you must think that you are the Son of God. But Jesus, you don't look like the Son of God right now. All sweaty. <laughs> and dirty, and hungry. You look more like, um, I don't know, a fallen angel, kicked out of heaven 
by a jealous god and abandoned by your angel buddies. We did abandon you, Jesus! We're right here! No, we can't, we can't okay, interfere. Jesus. Stones to bread already. You need to eat if you want to live, right? It is written. Humans will not live by bread alone, but by every word from the mouth of God. Yes! Would you two shut up? Hey, Jesus! Nice work. That was just a test of your faithfulness to God. And you did great! Oh, in fact, God wants to test your faithfulness again. Come here. Wait, they're heading to... That's toward Jerusalem. Uh, oh, they're going under the temple. The top of the temple? Well, what could Satan pro possibly want to be doing up there? O oh, Lord God of Israel, here is the evening sacrifice for the sins of your people. And hey, about that Jesus guy at the river, could you show me a sign if he's the Messiah? You obey God's word, right? Yeah? I take that as a yes. Well, God's word says that he will give his angels charge over you and they will protect you so that you don't fall and you, and you don't hurt yourself. If you are God's son, cast yourself off this roof. Your angel buddies are ready to catch you. And hey, you'll float. And that priest, that hard-headed priest down there, I bet he will believe you're the Messiah then. He's trying to kill Jesus! No, 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 no. I, I think Satan's trying to trick Jesus. That, that, that is a Bible verse that he's quoting, but I don't think it's the whole thing. It goes, he will give his angels charge over you oh, to keep you in all his ways. Okay, oh, okay, and, and his way wouldn't be to hurt yourself. Right. Jesus shouldn't try to, to do something dangerous just to test God's power. Right. No. No. No, it is written. You shall not test the Lord your God. Still waiting for that sign, God. <sighs> you don't sound like a messenger from God. Oh. Or my dad. <laughs> Oh. You don't talk like him. Mm. Oh, finally. I can turn this thing off then. Oh. Since pretending to be a good angel is clearly working. Look, Michael, Jesus, I have something to show you. Come with me. Okay. The temple, the priest. Where else is he going with this? Oh, they're going to be heading up to the mountain ranges now, the ones out east. No. Why would he take them there? He, no. he certainly wanted to show me something. There's not much out there. No. Come Just in. God's nature. Here, I don't need this anymore. Oh, you go. oh thank job. you. Absolutely, my pleasure. All right, come here. You good? You doing okay there, buddy? You need help. Come on. Come on. Listen, Michael. Jesus, oh, whatever it is you're calling yourself these days. Let me be straight with you, buddy. I own this planet. Look, can you see it out there? The golden temple, the marble palaces, the fields. The forests, the oceans, and I own it all. I own these humans too. All the humans. That includes you, buddy. No! Jesus is not no, no, no. We you can't don't interfere. Interfere. We can't. You came here. <laughs> you came here to take back control of this planet by never sinning. And yet You've seen the innocent lambs being sacrificed. Even if you never sin, God 
is going to sacrifice you like a lamb. So I'm going to give you a one-time offer. For old time's sake, you know? Just bow down and worship me. And I will give you everything. This whole world. I will throw these humans in on the deal too. No death for you. You will be my second in command. Forever. That sounds like a pretty good deal, huh? All that? For worshiping me? It's written. Worship God only. Serve God only. Yes! Yes! Get out of here, Satan. Baby. You did it! You did it! You did it! Here, have some mana! Oh, oh, Captain, you know that you are the Son of God and He loves you! And you have shown Satan to be a liar! Oh, you totally did it! Captain Michael, uh, Jesus, you, you did it! Satan says that he owns all the humans and that they can't stand up to him, but you're a human now and you did it! You, you defeated him! My faith! You did it by faith! In the Word of God and trusting in Him and you, you did it on that alone! Come on, Captain Michael. I'll take you to some shade and the rest of you. Oh, this is, this is great! I mean, that's it, right? I mean, the plan's done! Jesus just needed to defeat Satan while he was human, and that would take care of everything. I mean, now he just needs to, well, show everyone that God loves him no matter what, and I think, yeah, that's it, that's the plan. I mean, everything's fine. Right? 